YouTube, what's going on, baby? It's your boy Ron Real, aka Double R, back in the building, back with another video, back with another damn banger. Today, we're going to be doing a video for October Black Line Luxury Cigar of the Month pick that I put in my community tab for everybody to vote on to figure out which cigar I would be doing the review on. And it was kind of a pretty much, not unanimous, but a huge majority voted for this cigar here. We're going to be looking at the Placencia Alma del Campo and Travisia Box Press. Y'all hang tight, stay tuned. Alright, today we're going to be smoking the Placencia Alma del Campo Travisia Box Press. This was the cigar that all of the army decided that they wanted to see me review. What's special about this one is there actually is a Tra Travisia already in the Alma del Campo lineup, but it is a regular Parejo. What is special is that it came in a box press. And as most experienced smokers will tell you, size does matter. Size is everything. You'll smoke certain, you'll smoke certain lineups and certain cigars will taste a lot better in smaller or bigger sizes or different things, box press, torpedoes, they'll taste a lot different. Now, the Alma del Campo lineup for me was just an okay lineup. I was more of a fan of the Madrono, which is a six and a half by 58 ring gauge. That was the size that I really liked in the Alma del Campo until this one came around. Complete game changer. Still the same makeup is gonna be a six and a half by 54 ring gauge. Nicaraguan Puro, obviously made in the Placencia factory. Retail for this is $17. And when I tell you just from even before recording, Placencia makes, makes really nice looking cigars and this is no exception to the rule. Has visible seams, but they're very tight. I love the shade of, of brown on the wrapper leaf. Uh, you got uh, some slight tooth to it. Some veins too, but they're pressed down. The box press is very nice. It's just a very nice looking cigar. This is a personal thing with me too. I like the bands, but you know, some people may think that three bands is a little bit overkill, especially with the top band on the top, but I still think it's a very nice looking cigar. Again, not the cheapest, op cheapest option in the world, but I think this is a very good cigar and I wanted to give the members of the club a chance to be able to smoke something new and good at the same time. So with that being said, we'll go ahead and take the foot band off. And I got a beer over here. I'll decide probably during smoking if I want to pair it or not. It's a, uh, a stout that's made with mint. So I'll smoke a little bit through the cigar and see if I, if, if I want to pair it or if I'll just stick with water. So we'll, we'll see there. Got a nice triple cap on this one too. Medium firm draw. Getting some cinnamon, a little cedar on that, on that cold draw. I can tell, you can tell it's just some nice well-aged tobacco in this, so we'll go ahead and light it up and see what we got. Trademark Placencia taste, good, clean, minerally earth. The minerality is not like a Dominican tobacco. You can just tell it's a different kind of minerality to it. Good mineral, good minerally earth to it. A little bit of black pepper. Little brown sugars in that tail end on it too. Nice retro hell on this. I think this is gonna be a good performer. This is a good cigar. Obviously, I recommended it for the club, so you guys already know how I feel about it. So I'll keep on smoking through this first third. Come back so y'all hang tight, stay tuned. All right, so we're coming through this first third of this Placencia Almadel Campo Travisia box press. Excellent star so far. For me right now, the body is nice. Good medium to full body. Strength is a little bit, maybe a, a tick or two above medium, just a very good cigar. I will say this automatically right away. This is a cigar that you're gonna wanna kinda sit down and really pay attention to, or you're gonna really miss a lot of the nuances. This is a cigar that if you're just kinda walking around, or if you're busy doing some other stuff, you're gonna miss a lot of things on this cigar. Very, very good, a lot of little subtleties in there. Still got a nice brown sugar, starting to pick up a little bit of a cedar. There's a really nice almond quality to it. Not a, not, so much a roasted almond, but almost like a raw almond taste to it. Just a really, really good cigar. Performance on this thing has been great. I thought the draw was gonna be a little tight, but actually smoking it and once some fire got to it, this is a perfect draw. Perfect amount of resistance. Burn line has been great, but that's to be expected. Placencia always knocks it out of the park with, with the construction, especially you guys know I'm a huge fan of the Alma Fuerte Salomon. When you look at that cigar and just being used to working with torpedoes, Salomon's Perfectos, you guys know how the 
burn issues can become present but in those cigars I, again i think i've only had one alma fuerte salamon that didn't burn well but again this is really really good i'm a fan i think from hearing from a lot of you guys that are in the club already too that you guys have been enjoying this one too i was really impressed with this because it smokes so much different than the rest of the vitolas in the alma del campo line so so far it's been really enjoyable medium to full on body I'd say low side of medium to full on flavor, a couple of ticks above medium on flavor. I mean, sorry, not flavor, but strength. So really, really enjoying this. So we'll get through this second third. So y'all hang tight, stay tuned. I'll come back if there's any changes. All right, so we're working our way through this second third, as you see, working my way down pretty good on this Placencia. Still very enjoyable. Still would say medium to full, low side of medium to full for body and flavor. Probably low side of medium to full for strength as well too. Biggest thing I've noticed, the brown sugar has dropped off, but we also picked up a really nice cinnamon. Still getting some nice cedar, still getting a nice almond. Again, a lot of nice subtle nuances in here that you just have to really sit down and pay attention to. Very, very enjoyable cigar. I have been thoroughly, thoroughly enjoying this. Just really crazy that uh, sometimes you can just pick up on like if I pick up a Padron without a band, I can kind of tell very quickly if it's a Padron. Davidoff has a, its own flavor. Placencia is kind of the same way. You can just smoke a Placencia and you can just tell like just the, the, the characteristics of the tobacco just come through. Really, really enjoying this. But other than that, nothing else really to report. So I'm gonna keep on smoking. Smoke is staying nice and cool. Flavors are still really enjoyable. I'm sure this is gonna go all the way to the bitter end. So I'll be back in this final third, come back with some points so y'all hang tight and stay tuned. All right, still working our way through this Placencia. Very good cigar. Not a, not a lot of changes in the flavor. What I will say is the intensity has came up, which of course me being a more fan of a more medium to full body cigar, full strength, right up my alley. Full bodied cigar, it just reached full bodied in this last third. I would say the strength is definitely a medium to full. Flavors are medium to full as well too. Still getting a nice cedar note, still getting some almond. Black pepper's there now, not, in, not uh, offensive or too aggressive but it's there definitely a nice cedar on it cinnamon is still there too so i'll go ahead and score it but yeah full body medium to full on flavor medium to full on strength so i would recommend if you're not more into the medium to full take your time with this cigar don't mess around and smoke this too fast you'll get sick if you're not used to uh stronger cigars so for flavor i gave it a 17 out of 20 very nice flavors on this definitely above the average cigar just got to take your time so you're picking up the little nuances and subtleties that are going on draw i gave a 20 out of 20 burn i gave a 20 out of 20 complexity i gave a 17 out of 20 and strength i gave a 17 out of 20 it's going to give this cigar an overall score of a 91 out of 100 elite cigar great construction on this thing you know, $17 cigar is subjective, of course, to people's budget. But for me, I think this is a box-worthy cigar, in my opinion. This is a home run. This has taken over the Madruno as far as the favorite Vitola in the Alma Del Campo. Huge fan of this. Hey, of course, like I said again, I recommended this cigar and suggested it for the Cigar of the Month Club. I'm hoping you guys that have not smoked it enjoy it. And like I've seen, the people that have smoked it already have enjoyed it as well, too. But this has been the review for the Alma Del Campo Travisia Box Press, the new cigar by Placencia. With that being said, y'all already know the name of the game is relaxation and enjoyment. And damn sure, don't forget to be driven, never motivated. We're going to catch y'all on this next one. Peace.